What is up YouTube? Today I'm gonna tell you how to make it to high rounds in Spaceland Zombies very very easily. So the first thing I want to go over is how do you kill the zombies. And to kill the zombies all you have to do is hoard the zombies right here where I'm showing you. And you just run them right through that alligator mouth when you see that it's clear and it'll crush all the zombies. And every time that you crush the zombies it actually counts towards the end of the level so it's not going to respawn the zombies just because they were crushed it actually kills the zombies and advances you through so in this way you don't have to worry about ammo really or anything you can just sit here and hoard all day if you want to and just keep crushing the zombies so there's a few things uh, I'm going to go over to help you out with things like the brute and the clowns and things like that and the first thing is the gun so what I would do is I will keep the M1 Grand and I'll keep the starter pistol and the starter pistol will be used for the clowns and I'll show that later and the M1 Grand will be used for the brutes and that's the only time you'll ever have to really use ammo so that basically cancels out the chance of you dying from ammo so that's one thing you don't have to worry about as far as perks is I use racing stripes so that you can run hordes a little bit easier you can jet through little uh, cracks in the line of zombies and things like that easy I use trailblazers and if you use trailblazers they don't matter if you're on round 50 or 100 or whatever if the trailblazers will catch the clowns on fire behind, behind you and that's one way you can get kills and points um, up in Adams of course you want to wear that in case you go down and you can get revived um, as far as juggernaut you need juggernaut as well and you need bomb stoppers because you're going to be using the starter pistol and you don't want to knock yourself down uh, with bomb stoppers so if you run out of quick revive I would get bang bangs and that's because it doubles your bullet damage obviously but I would put the other uh, five ranked above those as far as using this strategy. Um, like you saw right there, I used a boombox. One of the ways that you can go down is getting trapped. So uh, I carry around a boombox and if you get blood red or you see that you're going to be pinned in by zombies, you can just drop the boombox real fast and it'll attract to it and you can get out of it. Um, as far as fate and fortune cards, uh, you four of the ones that you definitely need is eagle eye, escape route, hide and seek, and reanimate it. You need eagle eye because that helps you with the brute, which I'll show here in a minute. Um, you need escape route because that's another way that you can get yourself out of being pinned. Um, hide and seek is where they can't see you, so that's another way to get out from being pinned. And reanimated will revive you even though you don't have quick revive. So if you're out of quick revives, then you can have reanimated on and you'll be revived and you won't it won't end the game you'll just have another life so the first thing I want to talk about is how to beat the brute easily so when you get a brute you want to head over to the middle of the map this this part of the map gives you the most space and it's easier just to run trains around the edges to, to stay away from the zombies and to also have enough space to fight the brutes so um, what you want to do is you want to have your eagle eye card on your fortune card and the good thing about eagle eye is one it's not something that you need to get out of crate so you have unlimited um, times that you can play with eagle eye and you don't have to worry about getting out of a crate and also the meter does not go down on eagle eye as long as you don't kill any zombies so what you want to do is not kill any zombies just focus on the brute and you will not lose your eagle eye as long as you're just fighting brutes with it uh, the meter will hardly go down and you could go for 200 rounds with the same card if you wanted to fight in brutes because the meter doesn't go down unless you kill zombies you just want to focus on the brutes um, which just shoot at the brutes head and it'll take about four or five shots to take his mask off and then it'll take about 10 shots to shoot him in the head and kill him and that's all you gotta do for the brutes now the next thing you need to worry about is the clowns. That's the only other thing you need to worry about. They all hate the clowns. And all you gotta do is go to the middle and if you stand on this bridge, they'll all spawn right in front of you. And this is where your starter pistol comes in handy. 
So I found that all you really need is to have 45 and a full clip in your pistol, and you should be able to get through a clown round just simple and easy. You might have a couple clowns spawn behind you, but if they hit you, then they're not gonna really do any damage to you, like you'll see here. Uh, it'll, it'll, it takes about six clowns to knock you down, so if they're all coming in front of you, besides two out of fifty, then you don't really have to worry about them. And that'll get you through the clown round really easy, and you don't have to worry about the clown rounds or or dying from those. And that's about it, guys. So if you guys can go through those clown rounds and those brute rounds that easy, then. Like I said, just keep pouring them up and keep crushing them like I'm showing here. If you want to go to round 300, by all means go to round 300 because this is uh, probably one of the easiest strategies that I've seen in zombies. So if this video helped you, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, links are down in the description and I will talk to you guys later.